a playthrough of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, uh, Pandora Tomorrow. Uh, this is part of the uh, recently released PS3 HD remake, or I should say remix, or upgrade, or whatever they call it. And uh, I already finished the first Splinter Cell, and I just thought, you know, I had such an interesting experience playing it. I wonder if I would have the same thing, as well as, you know, just in case if anybody needs, is, wants a, a somewhat of a walkthrough, they could uh, use this video. And uh, so, yes, let's get started. By the way, that's the, uh, I briefly saw a Twisted Metal uh, theme for the PS3, which you can get with the core um, at online magazine. Um, you get free if it's, if you're a PSN plus subscriber or you can pay for it. Eh, and I find it's, it's kind of worth it. They got some interesting video vignettes and shit. Okay. Here it is. Tom Clancy Spinoso, Pandora Small HD. Let's go. By Ubisoft. Before they started making shitty DRM um, infested games where you had to got limited activations and had a constant internet connection back when they were, you know, a cool company. Now they just they just blow. Yeah, yeah I know it stays online. That's part of my PSN Plus um, subscription. You can use a cloud storage. Um, I actually got it after my PS3 yellow lighted about a month ago. Uh, I'm going to put it louder, just in case. And on tomorrow. Can't hear it. Just in case. Okay. Options. Sound. This part. Oh, that's simple enough. We can start a new game, normal. That's how we roll. We'll save. That's just my Blackberry going off. Now I played this back when I had went on my PC way back. Press the directional buttons until you hear a sound and see the pin move. Keep pressing the same button until the pins release. You know, until all pins release. Just like the first game, you have that lock picking uh, mini game thing. Simulation. 
NSA just called me. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. Dramatic uh, zoom. U.S. Embassy to Dili. Uh, Dili, East Timor, March 28, 2006, 1827 hours. Infiltrate the embassy. The Dara Dan Dandola, Indonesian guerrilla group led by Suhadi Badong, has invaded the U.S. Embassy to Dili to retaliate for the installation of the U.S. military base in East Timor. Okay? Uh, now, as I was saying before, I played this back on the PC. Maybe 2006, 2007, I'm going to say 2006. Uh, and I remember I enjoyed it. I actually bought it. It came in a collection with, uh, along with the first Splinter Cell. And I thought it was really fun. Uh, you know, it's very cool stealth mechanics, you know. Uh, try to stay in the shadows and try to, you know, silently kill people if necessary. But let's see, uh, uh, let's see about the, uh, so-called PS3 version, as uh, you probably guess, is not that much difference. Just uh, obviously no mouse and keyboard, and just a uh, just the uh, graphical upgrade. Okay, so press the one button. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the front. With the last click to move, use pressure on the to adjust your speed. Okay, so if I hold it down... What are you doing, Fisher? Heading out to sea. I think that Lambert is uh, voiced by that guy from 24, Dennis Haysbert, which I actually thought he did the, all the games as uh, Lambert, but apparently he only did this one, if I'm correct. He also does those stupid Allstate commercials. Okay, let's see. Goals, infiltrate the embassy, those hand hand drop attacks are considered not lethal, good. Data, have a good Indonesia, agency bureau on it, 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 Okay, so if you hold the, uh, the circle button while crouch, they do a roll. Uh, X is uh, uh, X. triangle is jump. This is not amusing. You're carelessly putting Ooh. lives at risk. Get back to shore, Fisher. You've got a mission. R2 is a uh, holster or um, in your weapon. Uh, R1, I believe, will be shoot. Oh, so square. When you press it, it takes you to your uh, items thing, so don't have a lot of items. And circles crouch. Triangle. Get up. Insane. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be your last resort. Invisibility no. is your best weapon. We've got a network of photo cells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your opset. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. So it's like I'm up like Times Square right now. Right, you said. When the tab is at the right side of the meter, you are well lit. When the tab is at the left side of the meter, you are practically invisible. Okay, wonderful. When a small flashing envelope appears, of your offset, new goal or a new nose available. Press the select button to open the offset and read the nose. Okay. I just use the left stick to select an item. To use an item, press X. Okay. 
I think they're gonna let me use my explosive kick. Alright, my Blackberry going off again. I'd say the graphics are pretty darn good. I mean, since this game came out like 2004, 2005-ish. Okay, so it's kind of like, I think they're gonna want me to zip line. Yep. And boom! Grab a beam or a horizontal pipe. Stand under it and press triangle. You can move the handle, hand over hand along it. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the things I was really cool about this game is like all the. Okay, in the uh, first game, if you press triangle to jump on the pipe, then circle to do this, uh, to hug it or whatever. This one, you apparently press triangle twice. But yeah, what we can see is like, literally, you can... Oh, while hanging on a pipe, press triangle to bring your legs up. There's a big piece of visibility and they're able to pass over your obstacles. Hold on, my timer's up. I'm gonna stop the video.